Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I thought let me, since it's Saturday, let me just go uh, and give an update on the Euro USD trade uh, that I was in. Uh, if you watched the previous videos, you I think the last two videos uh, before this one, uh, you can go and watch them. Uh, you saw I was in sell trades. Uh, this is uh, uh, an indicator buy, but this this is the sell trades these are the sell trades uh, that i was in i just took a buy here because i wanted to show somebody how to use these buttons uh, they are available in the description box below they are for free i developed them myself so you can go ahead and download them for yourself i think i also link the video about uh, how to like play around with them but they are an automated trading system and you can use them for uh, basically for free also uh, uh, whilst I'm still on that uh, I keep seeing keep people saying we didn't get this uh, system that I that you are using guys I've linked again the link uh, to that folder in the description box uh, below um, and I've also linked the video where I show you the settings that I am using I don't know I get people Keep on saying that we didn't get the folder we didn't get the indicators i don't know the settings that you are using when i've posted everything for free on this channel everything is on this channel people just are lazy of like uh, going through and looking for information so i've saved you the trouble i've linked everything again in the description box below so if you still if you also want to use these buy sell buttons the link is in the description box below and that video that goes with it again in the description box below so i was saying uh this is where i had a couple of trades and this is where i had my stop losses and you know that this is where i had my tps well uh yesterday was friday so i just decided uh when we came to this one to just uh close out my trades because i had held these trades for too long uh here we entered here uh and we were in this roller coaster ride until it eventually came our way why was i still stuck in this uh trade in this sell trade i know many people would have closed their positions uh basically uh i had uh, my reasons i think i also tried to explain those in a previous uh video when uh first of all i'd said we are at a critical zone which is one of my rules and we were at this upper trend line that's going down as well as uh, i showed you uh on the daily time frame we had kind of a, a head and shoulder thing playing on uh, there so uh, basically you you could uh, have three or four reasons of taking this trade if you wanted uh yesterday i just started to close the trades uh we'll see because we had reached my son maybe maybe the coming week uh we might see uh this continuing this way or we might uh see what a reversal uh it's a possibility so i couldn't i didn't want to uh, like uh, give back uh, the money that i've made in the markets uh, back to the market so i decided what to uh, um, uh, just close those trades by the way uh, uh, on this instance i uh, did what i usually advise against uh, i basically just moved uh, those t those step stop losses um, for me i had so much conviction in this uh, in this uh, uh, trade uh, partly also because if you do take the dollar index the dollar index uh, we were dancing around here and for me if we go into the daily time frame for me i i was just like yeah we might go this way uh, like we might uh, go this way but my money was the dollar is uh, going to strengthen especially after what had happened at nfp uh, where the dollar uh, like uh, there was positive news for the us dollar more than expected so i i, I generally expected some positive uh, uh, movement on the dollar so that meant for me euro usd 
uh, they might try uh, their funny tricks but definitely they need to take the euro down so that's why uh, that's part of the reason why i was also stuck uh, on that trade and for me this also was evidence of maybe somebody playing in the market uh, if you know if you know uh, the big guys when they are taking their positions sometimes they don't just take uh, a position at once because then that would what that would show their hand in the market what they would do is try and what uh, take multiple sales or multiple buys that's what they try to do they take multiple sell multiple, multiple buys uh, breaking up uh, their position they know they want to buy for a billion but they can't just buy for a billion the market will just jump and, and it will go so they will break apart what uh, their orders so this for me is uh, usually evidence that somebody is breaking up their orders maybe somebody is breaking up their orders uh, well you take it as uh, you wish so that's why i was uh, still adamant on uh, that uh, euro usd will go down those are some of the reasons and also also i was watching the um the pound gbp usd i was watching the pound and for me it was showing me that it wanted to go down why is the pound important for me uh, when i'm trading uh, my pairs my 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 usual pairs for trading is usually euro usd aud usd usd jpy and uh, the dollar pound then i might have usd swiss and usd card and uh, the sar and gold i love gold and silver but my mainstay is usually euro usd gbp usd uh, i usually just play around with those uh, so why uh, was i stuck on that euro usd trade was also because of uh, what was happening on the pound usd uh, gbp usd if you know this is just a tip if you know you need to watch the pound when you're trading uh, euro usd uh, usually usually uh, underline usually uh, i don't want you to go out there and you start making mistakes and you then blame me and, and and stuff like that usually which means sometimes or more often but not always not all the time what happens is the pound is actually a leading indicator for what's going to happen on euro usd because of the pound's volatility the pound is very volatile and in terms of trading volumes the pound is also lesser than euro usd euro usd has got uh, like deeper levels deeper volumes so it takes time for euro usd to move unlike the pound so the pound usually if you find that the pound is going up even when euro usd is not doing anything i'm, I'm i promise you most of the time or some uh, well, most of the time um, there is a frequency but you need to just take this out for yourself don't just take my word and you go out uh, into the into your markets into uh, your chart and you start buying and selling based on what i'm saying you need to test this out for yourself and observe it for yourself and see if it works or if it doesn't but most of the time you find that the pound will take off but euro usd will just be sitting there then eventually euro usd will follow suit and it will definitely follow suit and it will uh, reach those levels as well especially my key levels and uh, stuff like that so that's the other thing so usually when i see the dollar index doing something then i see the pound doing something uh, i don't know why for some reason i usually miss trades on the pound i do get trades on the pound but sometimes i miss uh, trades on the pound but 
the moment I see something happen, happening on the pound and then I rush to Euro USD and I see it hasn't moved yet, I already know that eventually, eventually, not immediately, not um, um, in the next hour, maybe not in the next four hours, or, but eventually because Euro USD has got deeper volumes and levels than the pound it will eventually start to also move in the direction of the pound. The pound is volatile, uh, has uh, limited volumes uh, when compared to Euro USD, but Euro USD will also follow the pound. So you can use the pound also as an indicator when using uh, when you are trading Euro USD. Again, don't always do it blindly because it always doesn't work all the time. For example, the correlation between the negative correlation between the dollar and gold. We all all, all know that it's a, it's a rule. When uh, gold is going up, it means the dollar is losing value. When the dollar is gaining value, uh, value then gold is what is selling. But it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes you find the two of them they are moving in the same direction together. So if you're just like stuck on one thing you will lose money so you just need to observe these things for yourself and decide what works whether it works or if it doesn't okay guys i'll catch you in the next video if you have any comments thoughts and stuff like that i'll leave them in the comment section below subscribe if you're not yet subscribe like the video uh until next time guys bye